Hello, Gary Hernandez, and welcome to Cane Self-Defense with Master Gary Hernandez. I wanted to cover in this cane self-defense tip, second part of manipulating your cane in your hands. I did a video, I think one or two back, about hand manipulation of your cane. This is going to be somewhat similar to that. This is just a quick, fast technique to where someone, when they're reaching for your cane or your cane arm. Because you have to really think about it. You know, you have a man or a woman walking with a cane, you know, a little bit older. Person's gonna go, okay, I'm gonna grab that cane or grab that cane arm when I go to attack them. Because if I don't, they're just gonna hit me with the cane. And that's basically what we would do. Now, you notice Bob, I lowered him. Usually he's a lot higher. Well, the reason I lowered him is because I wanted to show you and I'm only 5'8", I'm a short guy. When somebody leans in, their head drops down. So I kind of put Bob where when you lean in, that's about where the head's going to be. Now, this technique's real simple. I'm here. He leans in for my cane. And I just turn and whack him with the other hand. That simple. Sitting here, he comes in. And I whack him. Now I'll slow that down. As he's reaching, I just pull my cane and my cane arm away. Now, before somebody goes, well, why don't you just punch him with the other hand, Gary? Absolutely, I can do that. I can do that all day long. But let's say I'm somebody who's a lot older <clears throat> and maybe had bad arthritis my hand, something's wrong with my hand, or I think I won't have a good enough hit for who knows what reason. And I don't want them to grab that side and get a hold of my cane or my cane arm. So basically, and I'll slow this down, they're reaching in, I turn, bring it behind, hit them in the back of the head. As I stun them, I hit them again. Because it's not going to be a super solid hit. It really isn't because I'm in close and it's going to hurt. It's a hard piece of wood. It's going to hurt. So I may have to give him a secondary hit. And I'm fine with that. And I'm sure you are too. So basically I'm here. I pull, turn, switch, and strike. Simply from here. Turn. And I swing. I'll show you from behind. I'm here, they're reaching, I turn, and swing it from behind. Very simple. Got my cane here, he comes around, bam, I hit him. So just practice that technique. You can practice it with the other hand too. You're here, you turn, and you hit. So <clears throat> think about they're reaching, you're pulling that away. Just like as karate instructors teach, one of the first ways not to get in a wrist grab situation is to pull away. And then if they get you, we have other stuff as well. But think about it. They're reaching for that cane or that wrist or arm. You're pulling it away. Yes, you can strike with your hand. But practice with the cane in case there's something wrong with this hand where it doesn't have a lot of strength. Or So as I turn... I have now a piece of wood in my hand, and I can strike. One more time. I turn, bring it behind me, swing it to the back of the head. Remember, they're reaching in. It doesn't matter if he's reaching with this arm. He's bending. It doesn't matter if they're reaching with that arm. They're bending. You're going to hit them side of the head, back of the head. Again, that's why I turned him at an angle. He's not facing me straight up. He's leaning in. They're leaning to grab my cane arm. Same thing if I'm sideways. I turn and whack. So practice that technique. It's a really good technique. You're manipulating from one hand to another and striking with it. But you're not going. It's in one fluid motion. Around and whack. So give it a shot, work it, 
Make it yours, practice it, teach it, and have fun with it. Thank you, Gary Hernandez, and I will see you guys very soon.